thank you so much, you guys, again. And first, uh, can you briefly introduce yourself to the audience? Sure. Yes, uh, my name is Daniel Ray, and I've been living in Taiwan for almost 17 years, and I'm originally from the United States. Okay. So, uh, hi guys, I'm Liesl and I am from South Africa and I've been in Taiwan for about 15 years. It's been a long time, right? So how's your experience in Taiwan been so far? Uh, overwhelmingly positive. Um, I came here just to spend one year to learn about a new culture and learn a new language. Yeah. And I ended up uh, meeting my wife. Uh, in Taiwan? Uh, yes. yes. Wow, that's great. Yeah, cool. uh, so we met uh, after I had been here for three years. So. Um, yeah, uh, one year has turned into 17 years. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so what about you? Yeah, also positive experience overall. That's why we've been here so long, you know. It, Taiwan is so convenient, mm. um, safe. Uh, we have been meeting people from all over the world. Yeah, yeah we love it here. In general, it's positive, right? How would you rate living in Taiwan? Can you rate on a scale of 1 to 10? On a scale of 1 to 10? Yeah. I would say... <laughs> A solid 8.5. Solid 8.5. <laughs> and what about you? Yeah, same, same. same. Yeah. Let's talk about like the cons part because you take out about uh, 1.5, right? Mm. So would you mind to share uh, a little bit about your experience in Taiwan? Mm. Or maybe something you should, uh, Taiwan can improve? Mm -hmm. I think maybe one con would be maybe the path to uh, citizenship. Yeah. Um, just the fact that we've been here for so long. And if we would want to become Taiwanese citizens, we would have to first renounce yeah. our own citizenships yeah. and then reapply for Taiwanese. And now that we have uh, a young child, yeah. um, Taiwan does not have birthright citizenship. She's still technically a foreigner. Yes. So, um, you know, after the age of uh, 18, she would have to get her, her, her own ARC for her to be able to stay here legally. But that's weird for me. Your daughter born here, but... Yes. She's yes. born here. This is her culture. Yeah. She goes to a local daycare where they speak Mandarin. Those are her friends. But she will always be the foreigner, yeah. which that is a big deal for me. Like, I want her to feel like she's a part of this country. Um, and I don't think she ever will. I don't think she'll ever feel that way. She will always be the foreigner. And it's also about the issue like immigrant, because right. I think that more, more and more immigrants, they are, are coming in Taiwan, right? Yes, yes, yes yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, but you know, overall, you know, I, I really love living in Taiwan, yeah. so um, I don't mean to sound so like overly critical. Yeah. Uh, that's, just, that's just one con yeah. uh, that I have, uh, especially as a uh, long-term resident mm -hmm. of yeah. Taiwan who, uh, who has considered making it my, you know, uh, lifelong home. Mm. Um, just you know, just just the path towards citizenship. Yeah, yeah. I, I would like to see it more paid out it's, smoothly. I think it's something that can actually be improved very easily. Yeah. Uh, just giving people the opportunity, like he said, to become citizens, uh, maybe after ten years applying, mm -hmm. um, just to have that path because we're not going to give up our original citizenships. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, because what if we have to go home to our yeah. families for whatever reason? Um, yeah, we need our passports from our countries, basically. But, but you guys have a, like APRC, right? Yes. yes. But your children still have a, just a regular visa. Yeah, so right yeah. now she is, um, she's attached to our APRCs. Yes. Right, so she has an APRC card, yeah. but I don't know what happens uh, if she turns a certain age. I, I know people have had some problems in the past yeah. uh, with their kids, like, uh, suddenly they cannot be attached to their APRCs anymore, yeah. then those kids, they either need to leave Taiwan, mm. even though they grew up here, they went to school here, their friends are here. Um, I'm not sure about what age that happens at, but yeah, that's kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. right. If we don't talk about like a children thing, so, so you guys uh, still think, uh, you feel like still an outsider um, in Taiwan? I mean, of course, you, you're familiar with everything, right? Yes. Right. No, I, I would say overall, on a, on a daily life, I, yeah. I don't feel so obviously like an outsider. Yeah. It's just that some of these more, you know, fun, yeah, yeah, little things that kind of uh, remind me that I am. But, you know, yes. uh, day to day, I do feel like a part of the, you know, society and culture. So. Yeah, people are very, um, very polite, 
and nice, always so willing to help us. We feel very accepted most of the time. But yeah, like you said, like some small things here and there, like, oh yeah, yeah. I am, my culture is different. Even though we are familiar with everything, uh, yeah, sometimes you're reminded, oh, we are kind of outsiders. Even though we want to be a part, but we just can't be. Yeah. yeah. So that's why, you know, I want to make some of these videos, maybe right. m more and more and people they can see, right? Mm -hmm. So how about a friendship? Do you think it's hard to, like, break uh, or how to get into, like, a Taiwanese group to make, like, a local friend? So what do you feel about that? Uh, from my personal experience, yeah. it's been uh, very easy. Making, you can speak Mandarin. Yeah, yeah. making Taiwanese friends. Yeah. In my opinion, it's very easy to make Taiwanese friends. If you want to go to the shop, it's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to go to the shop, it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. 然后出去吃饭的时候，就是他们会请我去，就是跟他们很久什么的。对，所以那你太太呢？So yeah, yeah. so, what about you? I mean, for like friendship with Taiwanese because uh, you cannot speak uh, fluent Mandarin. So do you feel maybe a little struggle? Um, actually, no. I can make friends quite easily. Yeah, yeah the, of course, if the person is a little bit uncomfortable to speak English, it yeah. takes a little bit longer to open yeah. up. But also, I feel like I am quite um, understanding and empathetic with someone who does not speak the language because English is also my second language. I had to learn when I was younger. Um, so I, if someone doesn't speak perfect English, it doesn't bother me at all. I don't highlight it. I try to understand. So I, f I feel like I've always made friends easily here. Okay. Yeah. So, so what is your first language? Afrikaans. Uh, Afrikaans? Yes. Oh, because I have, I've never been to South Africa, yeah. so I have no idea. So last part, uh, would you say something in your first language to the audience? I think it's cool. Yeah. Maybe like a South Africa people, they can, they can see it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hello, I'm all from what Afrikaans praat. I know that's why from you here in Taiwan, and you can hear it not so bias as us. Um, yeah, ja, search me on Instagram, and I can get sales as an Afrikaans, and we can we can buy. Would you want to explain? Yeah, for me. Yeah. Uh, I just said hi to all the uh, yeah. Afrikaans speakers in Taiwan because actually there are a lot of South Africans. Really? Yes, and a lot of Afrikaans speakers, and I said they should look me up on Instagram, and then we can get together for a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I also made an a, a interview with Indian people. I know they have a big group yes. in mm. Taiwan, but I, I didn't know uh, like South Africa have well, a... There's a very big South African community yeah. and also very quite close-knit. There is a festival called uh, Safa Fest where all the South Africans get together, but it's open to everyone. It's actually a great opportunity to learn a little bit of the culture and because South Africa is also an amazing country you know very diverse yeah, yeah so do you want to show your Mandarin to the audience more <laughs> because you only speak a little bit yeah. <laughs> Yeah,但是你可能一开始只是感到很兴奋去学新的东西。对，但是，然后到了一个程度以后，对对对对，到了到了一个程度之后，就可能会感到挫折感。然后对我来讲，学中文的时候，我第一年没有花很多时间去学
学东西的那个方式。啊、uh, ，OK， 对，好，对。Okay, so yeah, that's all. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, yeah thank you. So, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah my pleasure. Yeah, yeah my pleasure. Thank you guys. Thanks awesome. so much. Yeah. yeah.